Okay. Here's a demo of my new HP 330B distortion analyzer. I got three different oscillators here. 200 CV made in the 50s. 204B battery powered oscillator made in the 60s. 3310 function generator made in the 70s. Um, here I got an oscilloscope looking at the incoming wave and the output of the distortion analyzer. And here we got a 35665A dynamic signal analyzer looking at the frequency spectrum. And I'm going to attempt to look at the distortion pattern on all three of those oscillators, or four, and see what I can see. And so the way this thing works is you give it an incoming wave and then you tune the frequency and the balance for minimum meter deflection and cancels out the fundamental frequency and then amplifies the residual frequencies of the harmonics and then displays them. And so the way you work this is right now I have all of these all set to 10 kilohertz and there's different scales on here. First you set the 100% scale, 10, 3, 1%. And you first you set the set level, which is the 100%. And should read 1, you can set the balance just a little bit to make it read 100%. And you can see the output wave is amplified compared to the input wave. Then you switch it over to distortion. And then switch the scales back. Here's the 10% scale. You don't really see anything. And you... Go back one more, 3% scale. And then you tune these knobs to get minimum deflection there. And there. This one's reading very low right now because it's been on for a couple hours, warming up. So now I'm on the 1% scale. And if I tune the frequency just a little either way, the wave gets bigger and you find just the minimum spot, which is right about there and same with this one right about there and so on one percent scale the top scale it's reading a little over 0.1 percent 0.15 percent and the thing that you can see on this one is the you see there's a real strong third harmonic here one two three compared to the incoming wave and you see that here, here's the fundamental. Each one of these are 10 kilohertz, so fundamentals at 10. And the first harmonic at 20, pretty small, but the third harmonic is much stronger. And then there's some more sort of in the noise, but they're pretty small. But so try another generator here, this one. And you get a kind of a much different pattern with this one. And find the minimum on this one is about here. And here you can see there's a whole bunch of harmonics. And you can see, sort of see them in the waveform, some higher frequency harmonics. And this one reads, the best I could get on this one was about 0.6%. This next one is a little more modern, and the harmonics <clears throat> are much higher frequency. Lower amplitude, but you get all these higher frequency ones, and that's why you can see that in the waveform there, too. The minimum is about there. I got this one down to about... 0.2, no, 0.4%. And then if I plug in this signal analyzer, it's got an input source. And this was so low, I couldn't really even measure it on this meter. And this one, all you see is the fundamental, the harmonics are, you know, basically not there. 
And so if you tune this to the 1% range, you see there's just sort of some noise there. So this instrument was came out in 1945 in a wooden oak in an oak case. This one was made in about 55. So pretty old, worked perfectly. It's in this big metal case. I got it for 20 bucks at the salvage jar. Plugged it in, worked perfectly. It's caked with dirt, completely cleaned up. It looks like brand new. Anyways, here's my demo. Thanks.